These gargoyles were effigies of the vampire's enemies. In the corresponding murals, they were impaled by heroic vampire warriors. Perhaps this was a clue. This mysterious chamber was clearly significant. Perhaps I would finally find the elusive Vorador within. The bridges were all lit, but still the door remained sealed. Perhaps I had ignited too many. This statue appeared to be the same hero I had seen depicted in the fountain room. This had to be significant. This was indeed the vampire warrior depicted in the fountain room, for here was the hero's weapon. This could be the key to solving the riddle of the fountain. Here, the images were unadulterated, and their meaning ominously clear. The vampire hero, the bearer of the Reaver Blade, was confronted by an adversary worthy of his powers. The enemy race, long banished, had a champion of their own, with flaming eyes and a fiery sword. The resemblance I bore to the adversary mocked all my hopes. Had Cain been the vampire hero of prophecy all along? Did he suspect what I was? For if I was this foretold adversary, then Mobius was right, and had always been right. I was destined to fight Cain and destroy him, or be destroyed. What part did free will play in any of this?
Your deliverance is at hand. In death is your release. This state is merely a told man. Once more, the Reaver absorbed the spirits of the former Vampire Guardians, and thus was imbued with the elemental power of water. Perhaps now I could enter that mysterious crypt at the end of the garden. So, our wretched little savior returns. Come to join the last pathetic battle of the vampire race? But on which side, I wonder? I've not come to fight you, Vorador. You don't know why you're here. I know this much. That you are the author of my fate. And as such, only you can rewrite it. <laughs> you give me too much credit. You forge the Reaver. I have seen the evidence. I was its maker, yes. Then you know its purpose. No. Only the scraps of prophecy my master shared with me. And do these scraps explain why you would forge a weapon to imprison your savior? Ah, well then. It seems we have our answer. You've chosen your path. I have chosen nothing. I've been deceived at every turn. You seem to know what I am. Tell me. I thought I did, once. But now all the prophecies have failed. The pillars are corrupted. I am the last of my kind. And when Mobius's hunters find me, it will have all been for nothing. You've forgotten about Cain. Ah, yes, Cain. I fear he shoulders a greater burden than he realizes. I cannot help you, even if I was inclined to. I crafted the Reaver Blade, but only at the behest of my sire, Janos Audrin. What sorcery he and the others laid upon the sword afterward, I cannot say. Janos tried to give me the Reaver before he died. He said that it was forged for me. But what did he mean? As my weapon, or my prison? Perhaps you should ask him yourself. Janos is here. In a manner of speaking. The greatest of us all, the father of our race. The Seraphim tore the heart from his living body five centuries ago. 
But there's no sign of decay. How is this possible after all these years? Somewhere, the heart still beats. And while it does, the body will remain preserved. If his heart could be restored, Janos might yet be raised. And you haven't tried to recover it in all these years? Many times. But our enemies hid the heart too well. It was taken as a trophy to Avernus Cathedral centuries ago, where they christened it the Heart of Darkness. Believing that it embodies the essence of our dark gift, they hid the heart away lest it fall into the wrong hands. Our hands. Redeem yourself. You may be our last hope. Perhaps you alone can find the heart if it is meant to be found. If Janus can be resurrected, he will have all the answers you require. This key will open your way to Avernus. But be advised, there are dark sorceries at work in the cathedral. You must be on your guard. Avernus is in flames, and with it, our hopes may evaporate. How can I find the heart in the midst of such chaos? You must act quickly. But beware an ancient evil dwells within, long unspoken among our kind. Undoubtedly, this is the source of the corruption that infects the circle. If you are to succeed, you must resist its influence. Thank you.